And now I've got to pick them all up. Hello my loves, I'm Miss Mon Mon. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing part two of my Korean K-beauty skincare haul extravaganza. So if you haven't already seen part one, go into the description box below and I have linked part one. And in part one, we looked at cleansers, serums, anti-aging, and sunscreen products that I purchased from a recent trip to South Korea. And today in part two, we are going to be looking at moisturizing, anti-acne, sheet masks, makeup, and beauty tools. Part one was quite a hefty video. Thank you to all those who have watched it. But part two is going to be just as hefty. So let's get started. Let's, let's look at some moisturizers. From the brand Laneige, I picked up one of my OG products, which is the Water Sleeping Mask. This was one of the first K-Beauty products I tried. I have seen about, I think, four different repackagings, multiple brand revitalizations, and I'm still using and loving this product. So I picked up two of these. Also from Laneige is the new repackaging of the Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Emulsion. I have gone through quite a few of these and I really like them. It's a very light moisturizer. I normally use it in the morning and especially in the summertime. My skin needs more help during the winter, but this is absolutely lovely. From the brand COSRX, I have two more repurchases. The first one is the Oil-Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion with Birch Sap. And this is a, another really, really good lightweight moisturizer. Sometimes I use this when I run out of my Laneige Emulsion. I think they're both great. I'm not quite sure who I would choose if I could only pick one, but this is absolutely lovely. It goes on like a dream, sinks into the skin. Beautiful. The other one I picked up from Casarex is the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. I have used multiple tubs of this over the years, especially in winter when my skin needs it. My skin really reacts well to all the snail mucus and I have been using it as a product on my skin for yonks and I, I think it's great. It's one of the few products well, ingredients that really, really responds well to my skin. For a friend, I picked up the Astura Atto Barrier 365 Cream because my friend is working on repairing her skin barrier and this was highly recommended to me, so I got this for her. And because I bought the full size product, it came with a hydro essence and a free sunscreen. So I can't wait to give that to her. For a different friend, also trying to work on their moisture balance and their skin barrier after some crazy reactions to some other creams, I picked up the Etude Hydro Barrier Cream. I have heard amazing things about this cream and the Soon Jung line I have also personally used, especially their toner, which I love. So this is another gift. From the brand Isentree, I got a hyaluronic acid water mist. I really like hydrating mists like this because before I put on something like my snail essence, a quick spritz of this and whilst my skin is still wet, I will go in with my snail cream and it just gives you that really lovely glow. It sinks into the skin beautifully and I find that the snail mucus creams from Casarex work really, really well when applied to wet skin. And I might as well add a little bit of hyaluronic acid. So that's why I picked up this one. From the brand Toridin, who has the dive in serum that I love, I really wanted to try the soothing cream also from the dive in range. This one came as a buy one, get one free kind of deal and I'm already halfway through one of these jars. It goes on like butter. I think this is slightly better than the Tarte Shell Water Cream, which I am trying to find a dupe or a replacement for. 
mainly because touch is a little bit out of my budget. So I have found it and this is why I picked up this one and my friend will get the spare one. From the brand Beauty of Joseon, I picked up the Dynasty Cream. Now I have gone through quite a few of these and I forgot that they changed their packaging because it used to come in a rounded jar with a lovely little paper thing on top that looked like the old rice jars. But it turns out now it's just like this, which is fine. It's the same amount of product, just as good a price, and I really like this one. I mix this in with a retinol on my retinol nights, and it just sinks in lovely. It is really rich, so I only have to use it once a week. And Monday is my retinol night, so yay. This is the Derma Factory Skin Barrier Cream, which I got for myself, seeing that all my other friends were also repairing their skin barrier. So this one is for need of intensive moisturizing, calming, repairing, and revitalizing. No scent, low pH. It's one of those no frills kind of brands. They just tell you everything you need to know. And I haven't tried it yet, but when I do, I'll let you know how it fared. One of the brands that I discovered whilst in Korea was Lagom. Lagom. Yeah, we're here again. And I picked up three different moisturizers because I just wanted to see what the difference was and how it reacts to my skin. The first one is the Cellus Sensitive Seeker Cream. This one came as a freebie because I bought something else from the brand. And honestly, I will not say no to a free moisturizer. The second one I have been using, and it is the Cellus Deep Moisture Cream. I am actually preferring this one over the Laneige water bank tub. I'll put a picture up here of what it looks like. And I think this one is going to replace the Laneige because I just find it lighter, sinks in better, and it's just really lovely. So very excited to keep using and trying out this one. Lastly from Legom is the Cellus Mild Moisture Cream. And this was highly recommended when the lady said I have very dry skin. So I am keen to give this a go. But I'm going to finish one of the moisturizers that I'm currently working through in the bathroom before I crack this one open. In part one, we looked at the Kahi Pink Wrinkle Bounce Balm. It came in a moisturizing balm. So I figured I'd give this a go, mainly because my problem area is always my forehead to the point where I am so scaly, I am part reptilian. So I thought something like this, which is a balm, so it's thicker, it's creamier, just on my forehead when I am around the house might be a good idea. Lastly, whilst in Korea, I got a couple of facial treatments done and one of them was from a company called Ling Zhang who had their own products as well. So in a goodie gift bag to sort of aftercare as part of your treatment, I got the All Sera Repair Cream. This is so good. This is incredible, I love it. I, I need to figure out where I can get more of this. So when I do a bit more research, I will let you know. Yeah, we got quite, quite a bit of moisturizer. Okay, so we are now going to look at some of the anti-acne products that I picked up in Korea. As I said before, my acne, well, my biggest acne problem is my cystic acne, which I understand is under the skin and causes problems, but I do have every now and then a couple of spots. But because I've had acne for so long, my biggest concern was repairing my skin barrier, getting rid of scars, getting rid of redness and that sort of thing. So for that, I picked up a few products from Dr. Jart, which has always been one of my favorite go-to brands when it comes to handling my acne. I picked up the Intensive Soothing Repair Cream, which is one of their best-selling products. I need all the calming and soothing I can get. I have used this one before. The best thing about buying one of these full size was I got two smaller sizes of the same product 
in each packet. So I was basically the Oprah of skin care saying, you get an intensive repair cream and you, and you. And so all my friends have basically been gifted one of these and it's amazing, it's so good. I also got the Calming Gel Cream just because my skin can have freak out days and this just, this apparently soothes irritated, sensitive and sensitized skin. Having a lot of redness constantly, anything soothing and seeker is a great ingredient. So I thought I'd figure how the gel goes. The last thing I picked up from the Dr. Jart Seeker Pair range is the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment which is a really lovely green colored gel. And what it does is it counteracts the redness in the skin. And there were days where I just wore this cream and it looked like I had foundation on because my skin's redness was not visible. Game changer, absolute game changer. Kinda wish I got a spare one, but one will last me quite a lot as a little goes a long way. I also picked up some various spot treatment gels because even though my main acne concern is the cystic acne, which is under the skin, sometimes I get a couple of blemishes and so do my friends. So we all figured we would test out various brands. As you can see, packaging is quite same across brands. So I'm guessing some of them are dupes or they just know, hey, people recognize this packaging. If we put it in the same packaging, people might accidentally buy ours and like it just as much. So these are the four I got. I got the Dr. G Red Blemish Clear Soothing Spot Balm, which does a myriad of things. I repurchased for myself the Sun By Me Super Miracle Spot All Kill Cream, which, I mean, it works. I'm going to use it tonight. We'll see how we go. And the third Tubi Boy was the Skinic Seeker Blemish Treatment Spot Serum, which soothes sensitive skin. So these are quite intense. You don't put them over your whole face, just on your spots, and they're great. I really like the Super Miracle one. I've used it before, but I'm interested to see how other people find these kind of spot treatments. The fourth spot treatment one was from Axis Y, which is this tiny little tube. I don't know if you can see it, but it's clear liquid with tiny little pink beads in it. And it is a blemish treatment with niacinamide and other goodies in it. I'm I'm keen to try it because I kind of like the packaging. Look at the little, look at the little cigar. Oh, it's just so cute. Also from Axis Y, I got what is now apparently going viral, the Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. I have used this one in the past, kind of forgot about it, haven't found anything that was as good, so I picked some more up in Korea. This one, two or three times a week, has really gotten rid of a lot of scars, especially around my jawline, where once the cyst has finally disappeared, the scar from where it was normally will stay on my face for three plus months. And this narrows down the time to a lot shorter, depending on how bad the damage was. So yeah, an Axis Y is very good medicated kind of skincare without having to get a prescription. For a friend from Sun By Me, because they've seen me use it and make a difference to my skin, is the Acne Cleanser, which is brilliant. So this is just a clear foam. It's got AHA, BHA, PHA, and it's supposed to clear your skin in 30 days. This is actually for my brother. I am keen to see how it works. Lastly, in the acne realm, I got some tubbed things. The first one was from Medicube, which is one of my other favorite acne calming brands. And this is the Zero Pore Pad. So they are pre-soaked cotton pads, which have quite an intense serum or essence to them. And this really helps calm down my skin. The only problem I find with these is sometimes they can be a little bit sticky in their leftover residue. So after I think my skin has absorbed as much as it can, I'll wipe it off with a toner. And they had a buy one, get one free. So I have two. 
in the same realm because my friend wanted it is the a bib heart leave spot pad which is the same thing like the same idea not the exact same thing and it is just as nice as the medicube ones she preferred this one and it was lucky because it was another buy one get one free so yay I'll quickly dive in and show you some toners I got. The first one is the Toradin Dive In Toner. As I said, I really love the serum and I'm really enjoying the cream tub. So I figured let's try out the toner and I am running out of my toner. So it was a good time to repurchase. Because everyone was raving about this one, I also picked up the Beauty of Jonsian Ginseng Essence Water which I have had a sample of before and really liked. So I'm keen to see how I go with a full size and see if my skin loves it or hates it. Lastly, as part of a promo, because I bought a full size peeling gel from the brand Skin 1004, Skin 1004, I got a free toner, which I am very keen to test out. And because I was keen to test out the brand Lagom, I also picked up their Revive Essence Toner, which apparently is very good. So I will slowly work my way through these and they will all become reviews one day. Okay, so if you get into K-Beauty, you will discover sheet masks. Sheet masks are a pre-soaked pouch that Basically, you stick on your face. It's generally made out of cotton, but you can have them out of hydrogel or something similar. I'm not gonna go through every single sheet mask because there's a lot of them. There is a lot. So I will just highlight some of my favorites and we'll go from there. Leaders in Solution, one of my favorite ones. These are all moisturizing because that's my biggest issue. Incredible, so good, love it. Already mentioned Dr. Jart, but the rubberized masks are great popper in the fridge. You'll thank me later. You basically put on this serum first and then you slap on this terrifying looking rubber mask and you and your friend will look like you're out of a horror movie. Absolutely love. I got some gummy sheet masks from the brand Abib, which I'm keen to try. Lady Shop said that the FLO ones were good, so let's give them a go. Whilst in Korea, I got some intensive skin treatments done and from the company Ling Zhang, I got given a little gift bag, which has some of their products in it as part of the treatment and aftercare pack. And they gave me some of the best sheet masks I've ever had. Like I'm actually going to research where to get more. And because Kaki was so viral at the time, I got some wrinkle bounce perfecting masks, which I'm keen to try. There are a lot more that, that I haven't mentioned. Um, yeah, get sheet faced everybody. In the mask realm, I also picked up some, some choices. Choices were selected. Do I know what it does? No, do I think it will actually work? Probably not, but this is a tension mask which helps lift your jawline. I'm willing to give it a go. I used to be a bigger K-pop fan than I am now. Don't know what happened, just kind of didn't have time to listen to it anymore. But I know who BTS are as most of the world and I didn't realize they have their own sheet masks as well. So I got some of the hot eye masks because my eyes can get swollen some days. So I got the blue ones and then the sheet masks. If you are looking for these, there are a few places you can get them if you are in Korea. So in Myeongdong, they have the official BTS store, which you can get all the merch from. That's the most expensive place to get it. Go into, believe it or not, some of the snack places. There was a store called Kmart, the Korean Mart, where they have a whole bunch of snacks. And these were tucked away in the back along with a lot of collaborative merch. So that's where you can get your black pink Oreos and you know, BTS on a lot of products. So I, I figured I'd try out the sheet mask because why not? Don't ask me why. Yeah, I don't know why either, but sure. Let's stick some patches on your nips. As I've already mentioned, 
I'm a skin picker. These make all the skin from your feet fall off. Sounds disgusting, but is it satisfying? Oh yeah. The last things in terms of masks, I found these guys. These are from the brand Lindsay. And I walked into Olive Young and they had a massive promo tub of them. And it was like throwing chips at a seagull. Like it, it was manic. People were scooping them out into their shopping baskets. And I thought, wow, okay, well, good for that product. And then another part of the store, some poor employee was trying to stock the shelves and people were just scooping them out of the cardboard box. She was putting these on the shelf. Everything she put on the shelf was taken. And I just, I thought, is there something I'm missing? Is there something I don't know? No, no, no. Maybe it was just a coincidence. I was waiting in probably one of the longest checkout lines ever. And there were multiple people in front of me, but three individual people separated by another massive amount of people just had one separate shopping bag full of these. And then I thought, oh, okay, fine. If everyone is buying them up like that, there's something I'm missing. And then, you know, those impulse buckets right at the very end of the counter and you're like, yeah, you know what? I will have that Snickers. They had some of these, which hadn't been raided. And I didn't know anyone in line. I looked at some lady who was also pointing and chatting to her friend about clearly these. So I picked one off the impulse thing looked at it, put it in my basket. She did the same. And then I thought, bugger it, I'm gonna try one of each flavor. So I got the yellow one, which is the calendula one, which is soothing and moisturizing. I got the collagen one, which is for elasticity and moisture. And then I got the lavender one, which is for soothing and vitality. I got two of each. I'm really keen to see is there, some, is, is there a hype about these that I'm missing? We'll find out. I'm very, very keen to try these. If you were a K-Beauty fan back in the day, you will recognize the Skin Food Black Sugar Wash Off Mask. This used to be my Thursday night mask. You'd put it into a little bowl. I'd squirt in some toner so it wasn't as abrasive with the sugar. And I loved it and I used it up. This used to be like $4. And then at one stage, it was $35 for the same tub. And I just, no, nah, no. Nah. Once I paid $4 for something, I'm not paying $35. So I just sort of stopped using it. But I saw these, they were a really, really good price. They were, I think about $7. I, I had to relive the nostalgia, so I got one. Besides the Lindsay Modley masks, <laughs> get out of my swamp. <laughs> I got the... I'm the Shrek tea tree modeling mask, which I actually used on the trip and it was really lovely and calming. So I, I picked up another one and then I picked up some hydrogel patches. So I've got some under the eyes from JM Solutions, which is ones that I've used before. And then I've got some lip masks and I can't remember what brand it was. Coco Style, Coco Style. Is that it for skincare? Oh good, that's it for skincare. Shall we have a quick look at makeup? I didn't get as much um, makeup in comparison to skincare, but I did get a couple of things that I was excited about. The main thing I wanted to shop for were the foundation cushions. I got the Kill Cover Fixer Cushion, which is lovely. I've already tried it. I got one from Jung Same Mu, which is the Essential Skin Nuda Cushion and a free refill. This one is kind of very popular online. It's the Rom and ND Bare Water Cushion. It is a very watery solution, but it's great for those with dry skin and a free refill. And I got this one because the boy on the advert was very pretty and I don't know who he is exactly and the lady in the store told me, but I didn't write it down, so I forgot. So I got this cushion from Clio, which is the Kill Cover Newfound Wear Cushion. Yeah, very excited to test these out. 
I'm currently wearing a cushion from the same and loving it, but I don't have it in front of me. I've been using this product for ages and I think in a very old blog about what's in my makeup bag, I mentioned that I am using the Art Class Too Cool for School contour, which is what I am wearing now. I got a really nice eyeshadow palette also from Rom and, and Romand, Rom Romand. Uh, they just had some really lovely muted tones. So I got this one. This is the Better Than palette number five. I got three lip tints. One of the OG ones from Etude House, which is the Dear Darling water tint. I've gone through quite a few of these over the years. The Peri Peri Ink Velvet, which has been an OG since back in the day. And from the brand Lily by Red, I got the Mood Liar Velvet Tint. Last thing, last thing I promise, is from a brand new brand, which came out whilst I was in Korea and they opened their first store in Gangnam also whilst I was in Korea. So I had to go check it out. The brand is called Glow, and at the moment they only have two products, which are both lip balm, lip helpers, just lip everythings. And I got both flavors that it comes in. So it comes in Ice Blue, which is a clear, and then Coral Reef, which is a peach tinted one. They are made with peach peptides, and honestly, they are amazing. That is it. That is my entire K-beauty skincare and makeup shopping haul. Yes, there is a lot. Not all of it is for me. And as long as I keep the product sealed, they do have quite a long shelf life. All of them have expiration dates. Some of them until like 2027. So I've got time to use everything. And yeah, I don't have to buy any skincare for a while and trust me when I say I was running out. Okay, my loves, that is it for part two. If you want to relive the adventure in part one, the link will be in the description box below. But thank you so much for joining me on probably what will be a very long video. I, I'm kind of excited but dreading the editing. What do you think editing, Mon? Yeah, thought so. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. If you haven't already, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I am trying really hard to bring you exciting content. Yes, me sitting on a couch looking at skincare is not the most exciting thing, but I am trying to also just share what I love even if it doesn't make sense to other people. I will be back next week with a brand new video, but until then, be kind, be true, be you, and have a beautiful week. <laughs> Bye guys. Stop attacking my furniture. Brian. Anyone want a cat? Hmm, trauma dumping. We must be friends.